all my life, I really have been wanting to have this entrepreneurial kind of lifestyle, starting with a lemonade stand and getting it from my brothers, especially my oldest brother, Vito, where we started our paint, like a paint service around the neighborhood, offering uh, painting mailboxes, painting their little street numbers. And since, li- since I was little, I've always wanted to have my own thing going. one thing that I can do to help to help people really see that their life only comes once and that they have to live each moment, especially these four years of college is where you most make your memories, I feel like. And that's why I came up with the idea of Yoko. I, I did it in memory of my brother, um, this whole company. So I've had support from my mom, my dad, my grandma. Um, my grandma was actually the first investor of Yoko. <laughs> she will be the first investor for Yoko. Woo! Thank you. Thank you, man. People are asking my family all the time. And yeah, that, that first week was probably the hardest um, week of our entire lives. But um, receiving the news, it, it was shocking, and we didn't believe it probably um, for like the first year. I, I didn't really feel the effects until February of 2021, and that's when like all my anxieties just started like riling up, and that's when I started asking my like, God like. I, I wasn't ready for this, obviously, like, is it because of the loss? Is it because of this? But my mom was the most fortifying person in the world um, during this time period. God had a bigger plan. And one song that his favorite song actually was Don't You Worry, Child. And it says in that song, the main lyric is, see, heaven's got a plan for you. And there's definitely a bigger plan up there for my brother. And right now, I know Gabe and I, our mission is to make him proud every single day. So Jordan here kind of gave it, uh, sent me like this meme on Instagram reels being like, yo, year 23, it's gonna it better be your Jordan year. And ever since I heard that, um, I was like, 23, okay, it's gonna be year 23. Uh, Jordan was a baller. He was 23, and Vito passed away at 20 at three years old. So I was like, okay, 23 is gonna be like that's gonna be the number. This is gonna be the year. So I really wanted to bring Yoko to life because it's an idea that I feel that came from heaven um, to be able to spread this message to others.